Okay, so why wasn't the queen's bed able to be made correctly? The king gave the apprentice very specific instructions on how to make and build the bed, and the king followed it. So what was the problem? Interesting. So I have a suggestion for us to really dive deep. This is my whiteboard, and I measured my whiteboard with my feet, and it's one, two, three, four feet long. And I want to build another exact whiteboard to use. So I told my son, build my a whiteboard, four feet. This is what he did. One, two, three, and four. Same, same, four feet, four feet, but would his whiteboard be the same length as mine? No, so it, less than half. Poor little guy. He's gonna have a very small whiteboard and he likes to draw very big. So that wouldn't make sense. So what is really important when we're measuring? If we're giving someone instructions on how to measure, what do you think is necessary? What did the king learn he needed to be specific with? That's right. You need to have that standard unit. The king's foot became that standard unit. My foot size and Jack's foot size is very different. So when we're speaking in this, that common language of a foot, we need to agree on how long that foot needs to be. So we're going to continue exploring ideas about standard units and as well as good practices for measuring in the upcoming weeks.